What is up guys, Kane here and in this one we're gonna talk about Kingdom Guardian once more for a little bit as I have scored a little bit faster time than the previous video. So uh, one of my buddies passed it in 6 seconds and 6 heroes so I kind of gave it a shot to get 6 seconds with a, a couple of more heroes. So uh, I do believe the new artifact at least posed some of uh, benefits in terms of this but it took me probably like 30 tries I think just to get that so it does have a small chance to do some area damage and I, I guess when it kind of procs with these huge attack values that the archers do have it kind of can I guess some way benefit. Um, currently, I'm swapped to human, so I can't really show off the uh, proper archers. But the archers have 38 million attack in terms of the army attack stones. I think 4.5 attack speed and like 120% physical damage or so. So going into the replay, uh, I have. 3, 5, uh, 10 squads of Rakan archers on the field and 3 on the wall. So I have Avalon with the uh, mirror with potential 70. I do believe it is able to uh, get the, I, I suppose, 4 squads, but it doesn't really matter since I place 5 heroes. And I have more than enough uh, empty slots to be placed anyway, but just no plays. Then I have Yip with Tempering Charm, Tiadrin just for show, and more or less I guess some, uh, I suppose, uh, damage on Undead, which is uh, just a tad bit, you know, visible or so, because I don't really have a frontline place where I could place it, aside from, say, here. But then again, Valerie without the proper prisms is not going to do anything for me, and I do require to tag first instead of any other ability. Then I have Mako with the Invasion Talisman covering uh, these four archers. So basically tempering charm on these four and Invasion Talisman on these four. So buffs on these two overlap and they usually just go uh, sideways across the field and just proc majority of the stuff on the um, skeletons. So what I kind of learned to do is you usually let, uh, say, a split second or a second bypass into the event and then you tag. The reason for that is I think I tried this for a decent amount of time. Like, I, th I think it was like 5 to 10 minutes left prior to the event ending. Basically what happens is, uh, let me just pause the video in just a second still going so basically i'm waiting for something like this to happen these ones will always proc the damage faster these ones not so much since they have to go sideways a little bit and of course they, they just focus to kill that one catapult which is kind of not so good in my own case so uh, they have to hit at least a little bit of these skeletons and then i click tag and usually majority of those skeletons will be damaged. But uh, I think there was one or two skeletons untouched. So I just kept resetting until it uh, didn't have any skeletons alive. So again, a little bit damaged. It still had them alive. So it doesn't matter. We have to redo. And pretty much it was just multiple retries. Probably I did like... 20 to 30 until I got 60 seconds like as you see the skeletons were surviving again I think I had the replay or I made the replay but it was six heroes because I think I misclicked Virion before so I did uh six seconds five heroes off camera with the same similar uh or rather the exact same build so for some reason it's just not rocking that right now and it just kicked me out right after this but basically again use the exact same thing just took like 20 to 30 tries until the proper area damage is proc and essentially all of the skeletons uh, were at zero at pretty much like two or three seconds into the match so long as the archers get tagged and dragged pretty much most of the skeletons have proc invincibility 
If not, you usually have to retry. So again, pretty much at this point, all of the skeletons have to be in invincibility like that one, which squad pretty much entirely died anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to more or less showcase, talk a little bit about it, and of course, showcase the affirmation as well as me uh, being able to do it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. As well as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. And in return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of PvP, events, formations, and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for their support. I really, really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.